We're in Germany's Ruhr, and Christoph Metzelder is preparing for his very last performance. It's an unusual setting for an unusual player. He grew up nearby, and as he's now decided to call it a day, we're better than the Review Palace in Herten to announce your retirement. I have to admit that with each day I came closer to the announcement, I became more sentimental. I had an official farewell at the Schalke Arena and waved goodbye to the fans with my daughter in my arms. The stadium was full and all the memories came back to me, all the emotions and the great atmosphere there. I really had to hold back the tears. In 13 years as a professional, Metzelder represented Germany 47 times and collected trophies with Dortmund, Schalke and Real Madrid. Once he was hailed as Germany's brightest talent, but sadly his was a career plagued by injury. Nearly forced out of the game by Achilles trouble aged only 23, his body has finally called it quits nine years on. I think I had a great career and I had the opportunity and the privilege to play for some great clubs. But my career has been marked by bad injuries and setbacks. I feel a bit worn out physically, and in the last few weeks, I've found the daily training sessions quite hard. That's why I decided to quit. It might seem a bit soon, but it's just right for me. After starting out in the amateur ranks with Preuss and Munster, Metzelder came to prominence as a teenager with Borussia Dortmund. My career is very closely linked to that of Sebastian Kehl, with whom I'm still friends with today. We started training as young Dortmund players in the Bundesliga, and we were colleagues in the national under-21 team. After that, we both got called up to the senior squad and were the forerunners of today's so-called new generation. It all happened at a frightening pace. We were the absolute youngsters with Dortmund and Germany at just 20 years of age and found ourselves with very experienced players. We fought hard for our places in the team and laid the groundwork for the generation that's playing today. Christoph represented Germany at two FIFA World Cups, 2002 in Japan and Korea and 2006 when they were hosts. The journey began in a very negative way in 2002 as a lot of players were out with injuries. Sebastian Deisler, the greatest talent we had at that time, had to pull out. So everybody back home said they're going to go out after the group stage. But with the big win against Saudi Arabia, our campaign started nicely. And it was a tournament that saw a lot of favourites exiting early. Our path led us to the final and we all had a great time. Under the guidance of coach Jürgen Klinsmann, Metzelder went into the 2006 tournament with high hopes. His partnership with Per Mertesacker in central defence gave the team stability and the freedom to attack. The weather was great. We played good football and had a lot of success. The fans were happy and I think we were great hosts to the rest of the world. Just one thing was missing, the trophy. We were convinced we could do it. Jürgen Klinsmann had instilled the belief in us weeks before the finals. After the penalty shootout against Argentina and before the Italy match, we believed we could go all the way. So it was a huge shock to us when we conceded two late goals and went out. In 2007, Metzelder signed for Real Madrid but injuries restricted him to just 23 appearances in La Liga. It was my dream to play abroad. If you look at my career, I've never shied away from difficult decisions. I learned a lot in my three years in Madrid, at arguably the best club with the biggest football brand in the world. Breaking into the starting 11 was hard, but I value the experience and the friendships I made there. Florentino Perez, the Madrid president, still says, Real will always be your home. That really means something. After those three years in Spain, he decided to return to the Bundesliga and the Ruhr and joined the club he'd last played for as a 15-year-old junior. It was a big step to return to Schalke, 
especially after having played for Dortmund in my early years as a pro. There was some resistance in the beginning, but after three years and a German Cup win, I won the respect of the Schalke fans, and it was a big success. Away from football, Christoph has invested a lot of time in building up his own charity, supporting education and integration. Once a year, the Metzelder Stiftung hosts a golf tournament to raise money for disadvantaged children. Germany is one of the big industrial nations, yet there are still a lot of problems. We have quite a few children who grew up in very difficult social conditions. Some of them are immigrants in Germany and have difficulties adapting. My charity looks after the children with problems and I personally visit the projects we fund and keep in close contact with the kids. It's unlikely we'll see Christoph spending much time on the golf course as he's preparing himself for life after football. An internship at Real Madrid is only one of many options. I'll stay connected with football. I've spent my whole life in the sport and I still love it very much. I've experienced many different aspects of the game and, even as a player, I was interested in many things other than training like the way clubs are run. Therefore, I can see myself working on the management side rather than as a coach. But for now, I'll build up my contacts and learn. I'll soon be back in some capacity.